How all America can do is wait. Good evening. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. It is way too early to tell if anyone won, but we will be checking with lottery officials throughout the next 30 minutes for any updates. But while we wait, we're going to take you behind the scenes to show you what it takes to pull off the billion dollar drawing, including insight from two former hosts who had the big responsibility of pulling those numbers. Sean Chayabat is live in the News 6 Satellite Center tonight. And Sean, a lot of time is put into pulling off the most exciting 60 seconds of television. Yeah, really exciting. We're talking about less than a minute for that drawing, but there is a lot of pressure crowning somebody a billionaire. Behind the scenes, the build up to a billion. In Tallahassee, security cameras, guards, a green screen, and one host with a big job. I may completely transform someone's life. It's a minute-long moment of intense live television. I'm glad I'm not doing a drawing tonight. That's a ton of pressure. Former hosts, including our own Elizabeth Hart, say layers of security and planning go into each drawing. The balls are x-rayed and weighed. And the people that actually handle the power balls, they wear gloves. Uh, because they want to make sure that no oils get onto any of the power balls to possibly weigh them down. Just the security measures that are in place will blow your mind. The largest jackpot Scott Adams ever hosted was a half billion dollars. And with added frenzy over the biggest jackpot comes added pressure. I will say personally that when the jackpots were bigger, I was more nervous. I felt a bigger responsibility. And sometimes there's a glitch. Our final white ball number tonight. Good luck, everyone. Is 34. As long as the machines are up and running, they're doing their job, that makes my life a lot easier. But now that the pressure is gone, former hosts can finally play. Take a gander. <laughs> I got my ticket. You know, and I got my ticket as well. I'm not sure if I'm a winner yet, but I could tell you that Powerball officials tell us that it could take at least an hour before we find out if anybody is in fact a winner. So Lisa, what are my numbers? I don't know. Matt and I checked ours. We are not winners. Duds. Unfortunately. Thank you, Sean.